Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to send email to multiple email accounts from SQL Server agent if job fails. In this demo, we'll be using two ways to do it. One is SP underscore send underscore DB mail and other is using configured operator. Is If you don't know how to create an operator, I have put another demo how to create an operator in SQL Server agent. So please watch that demo. We'll be using in this demo already configured operator and I'll be showing you how to update already configured operator to send email to multiple email accounts so let's go ahead and do this this is my sql server right here and this is the job in this demo we'll be treating it as a critical job usually in organization if job is critical you do want to send email to dbas dba group and application support group so we'll be taking that scenario and using this first method we're going to go ahead and use is uh, sp underscore send email right here so we want to execute this script if our job main job step if you have multiple steps in your job you need to configure this script to execute if all of all if any of the step that you want to send notification to fails so I'll be showing you that um, how to do that real quick so let's go ahead and uh, go edit this job this is our critical job so we're gonna go ahead and right click on the job go to properties go to steps as you can see right here I have two steps right now I'm going to go ahead and delete notification just so that to show you that how to create this notification step so what I'm going to do is create another step in the main job and call it notification and I'm going to go ahead and execute this script right here which is going to send email to multiple recipients in order to do add recipients multiple recipients to put on, on, on this parameter you need to basically put a semicolon between the accounts so this is one account right here techbrothers at gmail.com and other is right here I don't know the limit how, how many recipients you can add but I have worked with adding 10 uh, a 7 to 10 recipient and it worked fine for me so uh, again if you wanted to know the limit on recipient you can go on Microsoft website and see if they have that information out there so let's go ahead and um, paste that here this needs to run in msdb we have in our ex exact command right here msdb but let's go ahead and use msdb up here just for the safe side and let's take a look on advanced option on success action up, up here it says go to next step now you can play with the success ac action on failure action yourself if you understand what they mean and uh, what I'm going to do right here uh, uh, if it succeeds what I'm going to do is go ahead and report the job failure the reason behind this is that this this particular step notification step is going to only basically execute when uh, our job fails so that's why I want the whole job in if we if you look into the history of the job it should show that job failed uh, even though you can go into the steps and see which step basically failed but um, I want the whole job first sight that it failed that's why we got the notification and then we can go into the detail and find out that whether which step failed and why it failed so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do this on failure action that's fine I'm going to go ahead and click OK this is my notification this I configured it on my notification now this is up here the main step um, that is my critical step I'm going to configure that now and click edit and go to advance on success I'm okay with that go ahead and report the job success and quit the job on failure action right here I do want if this step fails I want it to go ahead to execute step 2 which is notification so this is all basically you need to do and click OK and click OK and let's go ahead and run this job alright the job failed let's go ahead and look in the history expand the job the first job all DB view that is our critical 
step it failed and we do want our notification it went to step two right here which is notification the command ran successfully however on success action we do have that okay go ahead and report the whole job as a failure so let's go ahead and check that if we got the email I do have the email up right here so up here it says that uh, SQL Server job failed right here as you can see so if you look at um, let's go ahead and look on the other right here this is as you can see that a critical job failed on production notification that was uh, and this is our body check it a sap and right here are multiple recipient that we put in there so our notification really did work so let's go back to our uh, script this is the first method that we wanted to use to send notification you can use this method it this works pretty good so let's go ahead and use the second method um, and we're going to go ahead and edit this job and take away that step because we're going to go ahead and use another method so we're gonna go ahead and click OK now let's go ahead and right click and edit this job we're going to go ahead and use uh, the second method which is operator right here right here I have operators in order to find that if you have operated or created operator I will put a script how to create an operator basically so um, you can use that script to create operator in your SQL Server agent so up here is my operator let's go ahead and right click and go to properties of this operator and as you can see right here this operator has this email address and semicolon same thing and other email address but keep in mind sometimes if you leave the space up here it's not going to give you error only thing it's gonna happen is uh, it's not gonna send to either of them so I would recommend that not using this method to uh, unless you're very careful uh, to update your um, operator to send uh, to put up here multiple recipients but uh, I would like to basically go ahead and um, use this method right here update operator you can execute this command and then put email address and that way you would know that you don't have any spaces in between and all that and this this uh, um, up here update SP underscore procedure SP underscore update underscore operator really works pretty good so you can use this um, store procedure in order to see that your operator if you have operator and how many email addresses that you have you can go ahead and select asterisk from sys operators and execute that as you can see right here I have couple email addresses here so this is the um, script that I use to update that as I said that you can go ahead and use the graphic user interface but uh, if you leave any space it's not going to send to any of the email address so um, this is going to be our operator so we're gonna go ahead and right click on our job go to properties go to notification and up here you have an option uh, different notification that on failure if job fails what you want to do uh, up here we need to click in this demo click on email and we want to use operator which is DBA Keep in mind that if you don't have operator, nothing is going to show in the list right here. As soon as you highlight, the, as soon as you check this email, this will appear that on what action you want to send this notification to, whether it, if the job fails, if the job succeed, or what do you want to do. So we want in this demo if the job fails. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on when job fails and click OK and this way we don't basically need to um, go ahead and create another step we're gonna go ahead and start job this means that any of the step in this job fails and job reported failure in history is going to go ahead and send us an email so let's go ahead and start the job job failed it's 907 so let's go and take a look that if we got an email as you can see that we got an email right here and I used different body messages for for this uh, DBA operator as you can see that tech brothers and and uh, status failed all that so 
up here are the multiple recipients let's go in the other email address and see if we got the email right here 908 it took uh, less than it took few seconds to get here but this is the email address so basically uh, this is how you um, send email to multiple email accounts from using SQL Server agent if any of your job fails and I hope this video helps